Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I posted a video a little while ago called uh, like help me with conflict resolution where I talked about a situation that I'd had with my roommate um, whole parking situation and so I wanted to provide an update on that because a couple of people have asked me what happened. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now. Also, you get a small look at my uh, library of esoteric history I mean, you can't see all of it, but <laughs> this is my, I have to keep this bookshelf in my bedroom because there's so many things in here that religious people would take offense to. And I have family that comes and visits me often. So if they stay in the other room where all the library, the rest of the library is, I don't want them to get offended by these books. So I keep these ones hidden in here. Like you can, for instance, you can see my Gnostic Bible. <laughs> so nobody get offended. I really like the history of esotericism. So, um, this is where I study. Anyway, I just didn't want anyone to question the books that are behind me. This is my hidden section. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so if you want to know what happened in that whole situation, go back and watch that video. I'm just going to try to do this one real quick. Um, so my roommate and I were very angry at each other, and she was very angry at my man as well. And so we didn't talk to each other for a few days, and then all of a sudden she texts me and says that she's contracted COVID. And she had to quarantine downstairs for two weeks. So that opened up the discussion a bit. And a couple of days after that, she texted me again and she was like, all right, I found out that if I um, tell Safeway that I have COVID, they'll actually pay for like two weeks worth of food so that you don't go into their store and go shopping and like pass the COVID around. So they actually sent us $300 worth of food. And she made a deal with me via text message. She said, um, if you cook the food, you can just have it all and you don't have to pay for groceries this week. And I was like, all right. Um, so every night I would make her dinner and just like leave it on a chair by her door so she didn't have to go upstairs. And I think that uh, that mm, ingratiated her to me in some sort of way because uh, there was never any discussion about what happened. It was more like, um, it was kind of like a necessity that we had to talk to each other again. And I find that that's a lot of times how I, end up actually solving conflict is just out of absolute necessity. You know, it's never like I go to a person and say like, look, I'm really sad that we had this argument. Let's resolve it. It never happens like that with me. I, I don't know if I'm just a major pussy. <laughs> I just can't do it. Or if I, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know. But that's, that's usually been my way of conflict resolution it is just out of pure necessity. The person and I will end up talking again and it doesn't always work out unfortunately like I've lost a couple of friends that were really 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 good friends to me and then we get into an argument and it just never gets resolved because I just never can work up the bravery to go and talk to them again and it's weird it, one of the things that's weird about it is dating the person that I'm dating um, which a couple of people have asked me about how I met my boyfriend um, so I'm going to do another video about that I know I keep saying that but I've recorded it a couple times and it's such a weird story um, that I'm trying to like narrow it down so <laughs> it's not like a 45 minute story um, but I'll, I'll do that later but the thing about my boyfriend is is he is the exact opposite like he does not care about conflict resolution he'll like go up to someone and be like look motherfucker <laughs> and like i it's crazy i remember he was i remember there's this guy that told us this crazy crazy story and it was obviously not true what he was telling us and i'm sitting there like i don't even know how to respond to this i don't know like obviously this guy's lying to our face but i'm just saying like yeah sure that happened and i was wondering what my boyfriend was going to say to this guy and all of a sudden he goes yeah man uh, i kind of feel like you're full of shit <laughs> the guy and it, it, it worked out fine they didn't argue about it or anything the guy just tried to defend himself but my mind was blown i was like oh my god you just actually said that to a person <laughs> um so it's, it's really weird being in this situation and having a boyfriend who has no problem with conflict resolution and me who has no capability for it so it it was weird it was a weird resolution to the problem um but it did resolve itself we're not really as 
close as we were not that we were super close before but um uh, her my roommate and i but we're not angry anymore and there has been some discussion i guess it's just i think we both realized like you know what i don't really like you <laughs> like you're a little dramatic too dramatic or we just don't click that well you know what i mean so anyway that's what happened with that um for anyone who's wondering um yeah it kind of just worked itself out so and she's kind of a really open person as well um like very talkative so that's how it ended anyway so if you were wondering that's what happened um comment like subscribe whatever i gotta go because my kid just started yelling but uh thanks for watching bye